Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie and I create all kinds of home and lifestyle content here on my channel, mostly home decor related, mostly budget home decor. But today I decided I wanted to give my master bedroom a little spring refresh. This room has not been shown on my channel since I think it's been well over a year. And I will link that video down below because I do mention in that video where we got our main furniture pieces um, as those things have not changed since that video. We have not been putting a lot of time into the master bedroom um, since we moved in. We kind of got it up, furnished, and then kind of focused on the downstairs living spaces when we moved to this house two years ago. But I did just want to give this room a little refresh with some pieces that were a little bit more spring feeling because it is already very much spring outside here in Georgia. The weather, I think it's like 70 degrees today. Um, so I'm very excited to be wearing more colors and just adding in some different textures and elements to our master bedroom. But that's what I will be doing today and I hope that y'all enjoy it. So let's go ahead and just get into me decorating my master bedroom for spring. So on the day that I was filming this, it was Monday, which is when I always change out our bedding, our sheets um, for a clean set. So I am just going to put on our gray sheets today because we have gray and white, but I think the gray provides a really good contrast with the white quilt that I'm going to put on the bed. Um, so I had to change that out anyways, and I did spare y'all the catastrophe that was me changing out my duvet cover. If you've seen my last bedroom tour i usually have a gray linen duvet cover on um our duvet for like the winter and summer i mean or winter and fall we used to use it all the time year round but then i got this really pretty striped one last summer from ikea this striped duvet cover it was like 30 dollars from ikea and so i decided to use this one as like my spring and summer duvet cover just to switch it up and lighten it up a little bit so I switched those out and then I got this white quilt from my mother-in-law. She wasn't using it and she heard me mention that I wanted a white quilt to use in the spring and summer just to add some lightness to the bedroom and also a thinner layer because it does get so hot here in Georgia. And we have a queen bed. We want to upgrade to a king but right now we have a queen bed for me and my husband and usually our dog so it does get warm in the bed and it's better if we have a little bit less layers. Um, so I just kind of leave the duvet folded at the bottom of the bed for some you know, layers and coziness, but we don't use it. I just kind of push it down to the end of the bed <laughs> to our feet um, when we're sleeping. But these are the linen shams that came with the duvet cover from Ikea. And then I have some little pillows from Amazon. The covers are from Amazon, these gray plaid ones. And then I am going to just add a little fun touch of spring that my mother-in-law actually gave me this little pillow with some bunnies on it for my birthday, which just happened. So she gave me that and I decided to use it on our master bed. Then I wanted to come through and just take the duster and dust off my dresser and our nightstands. I do want to redo this dresser a little bit, just redo the decor that was on it. Um, so I took everything off. I am dusting the mirror and the frame, and then I realized the mirror was really dirty, so I am going to go back through and do some Windex on that. Um, but I also, as I was dusting, realized I really wanted to take some of the things off of the um, nightstands that we had on there just because... It was a little bit cluttered. This is my husband's nightstand and he likes to have his little charging station there. So I just, you know, leave that alone. It's not pretty, but it's functional for him and, you know, whatever. You lose some battles, right? Um, so I'm just clearing everything else off and leaving the lamp and his little charging station. And then on my side, I will just have the lamp as well. So I'm going to kind of scrub off the mirror a little bit. I don't love this mirror. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather have something a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit more unique looking maybe. This is a pretty basic mirror that we kind of found that matched the dressers that we have. Um, and so I bought it a little bit before I was maybe more interested in home decor, just kind of as a filler. Um, and now I would, I think, like to replace it, but it's fine for right now. And then I'm just cleaning off my little nightstand. I have a lot of chargers going on here um, and I leave like my glasses out and things. So I'm just tucking away those things. That's why we have nightstands with drawers was to be able to have functional storage and store things away so that our countertops could actually still be pretty. Um, and I'm just going to dust it and move the lamp to the center because I do like the way it looks when you just have two nightstands with just a lamp like a big pretty lamp and nothing else I think that simplicity is perfect for this time of year also I realized there was so much like lint and dog hair on the lampshades and it really bothered me so let me know if you know a good way to clean lampshades the duster kind of took some of it off but I don't know if I need to lint roll it or what but if y'all have any pro tips I would much appreciate them I had the same issue actually on the this lamp as well um, but this little lamp we've had this for a long time it was from Target we had it in our apartment 
Um, and again, it was really linty and I just went at it with this duster, but I don't know that it really got all of it off. Um, it's one of those things I don't think you ever really notice until you're up close and then it really bothered me. Um, but anyways, did take my little chom chom lint roller to it. Um, and that seemed to help a little bit. And I also am going to use that on this chair um, just to get some of the, you know, dog hair lint off. The dog doesn't get on this furniture, but, you know, it still ends up in the air and appears to be everywhere. So the Chom Chom does a pretty good job of getting that all up. Next, I'm going to add this little pillow that I got from Hearth and Hand. It was on clearance at Target. Um, and it just, I like the way that the, like, kind of dusty blue looks against this chair. It matches really well. And I also added this little kind of landscapey looking print that I got from Hobby Lobby a little while ago. I used to have like a graphic art piece here, but I like the artwork better, the landscape. It's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more calming, kind of perfect for this time of year. So I did go ahead and add that in along with this basket that I've had that was from Home Goods or TJ Maxx and a throw blanket that is also just something we had. I kind of shopped our home for these items, things that weren't being used at the current moment. I definitely struggled a lot with decorating my dresser because I had an idea of what I wanted to do in my mind and then when I looked through the pieces that I had I really didn't have anything that went along with that picture and I even went to a few stores to try to find things but that didn't really work out so I ended up just having to really wing it um, and I actually ended up really liking how it turned out but so I used this vase that I got from Home Goods. It was in a haul a little while ago and I put this dried eucalyptus in it. I got that at Home Goods several I mean, maybe a year ago honestly or several months ago I really like using that in my home because it's dried but it's still alive it was still a real plant and so I feel like it just looks really realistic and it adds a lot of good life to this area especially for the springtime and I thought that it looked really good anchored with this book this is my Studio McGee book um, that she wrote and I love it but I took the cover off so it's just a black book with like gold lettering I think it's really pretty so I did use that to anchor this piece but I went through a series of trial and error with these items. This little basket and this art print that I put on here were from the Target Dollar Spot. I actually went in there today and saw those items and just really thought that they would be kind of pretty and subtle and very soft for the spring. I also figured I could reuse this frame if I wanted to, um, but I like that the print in it is super simple. I did shop my house and try to find some decor from other rooms that I could maybe use in here. And I play around with it a little bit and then you'll kind of see the final product. This little succulent was actually a gift that they gave out at a baby shower for one of my friends. So I did just repot it in this cute little pot from Home Goods. Um, and then I added in again that tray from the Tarte Dollar Spot, a candle that I've had, the wick cutter for the candle, and then this little geometric looking shape that I made out of air dry clay. I bought some air dry clay from Target and made a couple of little shape things like this just because they're good for decor when you're decorating in you know trays and things and you need another little element.
All right, y'all, that is it. Thank you so much if you watched this video. Thank you so much for being here. If you are newer to my channel, you might not know that I am a physical therapist. I work at the hospital. And so on my days off, this is what I love to do is redesign my home, you know, decorate and just change things up. I like being home when I'm not at work. Um, so I like to make my space somewhere that I can feel very calm and peaceful and just really enjoy. Um, but since I am, since I do like to be home, I tend to like to change things up because I stare at it a lot. So, so I hope you enjoyed. I do post new videos every Tuesday. I may throw up a video every, you know, once in a while on a Friday, if I can get a second video done that week. Um, my work schedule is actually getting a little bit busier at the hospital. So, um, I will be hopefully consistent Tuesdays and then Fridays would just be a bonus, but I would really love if you would subscribe and stick around. Don't forget to like this video if you like decorating videos. So far, I think my next couple videos coming up will be possibly shop with me videos. Um, we are going to be doing some, making some changes to our outdoor living space. So I would love to share some of that with y'all between, you know, shopping and hauls and then also the decorating the outside space. So let me know if you'd like to see that and just anything else you'd like to see from me. Um, but I do appreciate that feedback so much. So thank you so much for being here and I will see y'all again very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.